a first look at the Grand National Fences then. It's the Crabby's Fox Hunters, which surprisingly Stu tells me doesn't count as part of the Hunter competition, so I don't know why, but anyway, two mile five furlongs at 110 yards, top one Banco for Martin Leadham, Mrs Doyle, Kevin Meenahan, Class Harry, Graham Clutterbuck, Sin of the Angels, Joshua Sutherland, Silver Bullet, Alex Cherry, Cornus Vale for Derek Hinton, Solway de la Mare, Alex Cherry, Sam Barina, Elliot, Paul O'Neill, Cleopatra, Paul Rhodes, LB Pius, Thomas Rogers, Cashmere Coat, Paul Rhodes, Glenasheen Parks, James Shea, Lawn Wave, Ryan Costello and Teamster Masquerade for Thomas Rogers, so just 14 then. And called in, and away we go then in this Fox Hunters, and they're down straight away to the first, which they're all safely over. And it's Solway de la Mare who's going to be the early leader, I think, and from Alex Cherry's stable. He likes to have a front runner or two, and coming down towards the second, and that'll be the last eventually. But it's not this time round, they're going to make their way towards the chair now, I think, and Solway de la Mare. He's in the lead from Class Harry in second and then Cleopatra and Cornus Val. Silver Bullet is close up as well as they get to the chair. Not as big as it used to be, of course, but still plenty big enough and they're all safely over that one. Good jump as these and Solway de la Mare is clear by four as they make their way down to the water jump then with Class Harry back in second. Then Cornus Vale and Silver Bullet, then Miss, Mrs. Dawn and Cleopatra, Lawn Wave in the white jacket, then Glenasheen Parks is after that. They're split up into a couple of groups really. The leader, Solway de la Mare, out on his own in front. Then a group just about headed by Class Harry, who's got a, about a length up on the rest of them. And then there's a third group that's been headed by San Barina Elliott. So, a messy race so far. And as they go towards the next crossing, the Merlin Road there, and now they're going to race down towards the fence that'll be the first in tomorrow's Grand National. And it's Solway de la Mare who's in the lead. Class Harry is second as they get to it. And we've all got over that one okay. I thought I saw something make a bit of a mistake, but everything over it okay as they get to the second. Ah, good jump there by Derek Hinton's corner fell and Cleopatra's gone. So Cleopatra for Paul Rhodes is out of the race as they make their way towards this big ditch. Then now the third in the national, the seventh today. And over that one, there's another one down there. Mrs. Doyle's gone. So Mrs. Doyle's gone there. And this is Dor exits the race off to make some tea and it's Solway de la Mare then over the eighth in front from Cornus Vale in second. Derek Hinton always does well over these obstacles. Then Class Harry is third, Sins of the Angels is fourth, then Glenasheen Parks and Silver Bullet Lawn Wave. LB Pius is next as they take the Oh there's another faller there. Sins of the Angels are crashing for as they took that one there then. And they're racing down now with Solway de la Mare in the lead by a good two or three lengths and the fences are taking their toll as they come to Beaches Brook then and over that one they go and they've all got over that one okay with Banco just the back marker but it's Solway de la Mare in front then from Corners Vale as they come down to the one after Beaches now known as Four and Over of course as they skip over number 11 and over that one they go and Solway de la Mare will take them off towards the canal turn with a lead of about six lengths to Class Harry in second Corners Vale and Glenasheen Parks and LB Pius then after that one Lawn Wave and Silver Bullet Cashmere Coat Samba Rina Elliott Teams to Masquerade and finally Banco as they jump the canal turn and they all jump that one nicely and they're well strung out now with Solway de la Mare setting a stiff pace then leading by about three now that's all as they take Valentine's and see them all over that one okay as well San Marino Elliott's now just dropped to the back but they're inside the final mile and it's Solway de la Mare over the 14th with a clear lead the rest of them get over it okay Solway de la Mare from Class Harry They've got just four more fences to take then there. And it's Solway de la Mare from Class Harry and Glenasheen Parks. Over the fourth last they go. Good jump again there by Cornus Vale in fourth. These leading four are clear of Elby Pius. And he's a couple of lengths upon Silver Bullet and Lawn Way. We can probably forget the ones after that as they take the third last. But it's Solway de la Mare in the lead from Class Harry in second. Cornus Vale and then comes Glenasheen Parks after that one as they make their way towards home now shortly they're just going to swing past this part and then they'll turn into the straight with just two more to take and it's Solway de la Mare in the lead from Class Harry in second Corners Vale and Glenasheen Parks trying to run on Elby Pius and Silver Bullet Cashmere Coat Banco Sambarina Elliott Lawn Wave and Teamster Masquerade they're the only ones left in it four furlongs to go two fences 
two take and then that huge run in. It's Solway de la Mer who's kicked on again now and it's four clear again. Solway de la Mer from Class Henry, then Glenishing Pox and Corners Vale. It will be Pius over the second last they go. We see them all over that one okay as well, but it's Solway de la Mer now, four or five clear of Glenishing Pox who's under strong pressure. It will be Pius who's trying to run on, then Corners Vale and Class Henry teams to Masquerade is eating up the ground. So to his cashmere coat over the final fence they go, and then all the ones that are left are over that one okay, and it's Solway de la Mer now being pressed by Glenishing Pox as they race down towards the elbow. It's Solway de la Mer building the lead all the way. Now being strongly pressed by Glenishing Pox. He's a head bobber at the moment. Glenishing Pox. But now Solway de la Mer kicks on again as he sees the chair. Races past it. He races into the final half furlong. Well, this is going to be virtually a billet up post win for Solway de la Mer and Alex Cherry up towards the line. Solway de la Mer takes the Fox Hunters. Glenishing Pox second class. Harry third then Cornus Vale. And LB Pius Cashmere Coat. Banco was last and was out on his feet. And a, a tremendous performance by Solway de la Mer from start to finish, just about maybe got headed on the running, but not for very long. That was a horse that wanted to win. Solway de la Mer takes it for Alex Cherry. Glenishing Parks for James Shea was second. Class Harry for Graham Clutterbuck third. Cornus Vale for Derek Hinton was fourth. And Elby Pius for Thomas Rogers was fifth. <laughs>